Today a really easy how to draw. If you can write, you can draw this. We're drawing the swordfish, so check out this video. Hi, I'm Bill Flowers. Today we're drawing the sawfish. Uh, it's a it's an amazing uh, fish that looks like a shark, looks a bit like a ray, and we're going to do it really easy. Now just pull out a ballpoint biro, a ballpoint pen, and join along or a pencil, whatever you can make a mark with, because it's going to be so simple. Now if you can write, you can draw brackets or curves, straight lines, circles. That's what you do when you write. So you should be able to do this. So come on, join along. This is an easy one. And let's get started. Now even with a ballpoint pen, you can still, like a pencil, use it fairly lightly. And we're going to start off with like a bracket laying on its side, leaving plenty of room here, and a bit of room here, and a straight line like this. And it's interesting, the shape of the sawfish. This bit here, where the head is, reminds me a bit like an iron that you dye in your clothes with. That's going to be the nose. So I'm going to go over this bit heavy till I get to there. Now I'm doing a bit of a, see that little bracket there? A bit like something like that. Going straight up and here. A bit of a curve here. Going straight up and round off the end there. A little dip here like a V. Go down to about here. I'm going to do almost the same size. Not quite, but almost the same size. Another fin, just like the one I just did. So their second dorsal fin's almost as big as their first dorsal fin. Try the tail like that. Sort of a straight line that curves a bit there, round there, and like this. Now, a lot of sharks have a little bit of a, a dip there, but this one doesn't. It's not really a shark. A round bit there, going up to there. Now, line here doesn't actually have another fin down here like a shark does. It does have pelvic fins. So I'll put a little bit of a dip there. I'm going to go there, a bit of a bracket, and there, like that. So there, line there. Now the pectoral fin, like that, like that, a couple of lines like that, round it there, and I'm going to go across here. Now, here I'm going to do, see that little Bit of a curve there, I'm going to do lots of those. A straight line, curve, straight line, curve, straight line, curve, all the way to the end. And each one of those, I'm going to put a letter V, so on an angle like this, though. So. This is a fairly simplistic drawing of a sawfish. Now, on the other side, same thing. Now, these are not teeth. They are actually modified scales that the sawfish thrashes around like that to get its food. Now under here, a bit of a line like this because I want to put it in his mouth and there. Okay, let's put the mouth in, which is a bit like that. Put in the eye. Now he has gills underneath here, like a stingray, and also like a stingray. What I've got here is what's called a spiracle, which is a hole just behind the eye, and it's not an ear opening, it's actually what they use to breathe through. Can you imagine when this guy is sitting down on the bottom of the sea, uh, all those gills, they can't, he's sitting on his gills, so he's got another opening here. And it's called a spiracle, and that takes in and out water too. You can see that moving. Look at that, that was pretty easy. Now a line here like this, and we've got him marked out. Now you can put a few details on like this. Let's just give him some lines there like that. I like to rotate the paper to make it easy for myself. And if you're really keen, you could probably, if you're really, really lightly with your ballpoint pen, him a little bit of shading here and there. He's sort of white underneath and a little bit more of a colour here. You can put a bit of shading here like this to make him look a bit, a bit cool. But there is our sawfish and 
that was easy. Now I'm going to show you a neat little trick. Let's say we put a scribbly line under like this and just put a few sort of O's or zeros through there. And now he looks like he's swimming just above the sand. You can see that? Put a little bit out there because of the shadow of him. There he is. Glad you guys stuck it out to the end. I hope you've come up with a nice little drawing. Now that was very, very easy. And if you look at some of my other videos, I'll have in brackets next to them, beginner. And they're going to be easy ones too. If you feel like you're ready for the next challenge, have a look. There's plenty of my videos that have got the word intermediate next to them. That's sort of the next stage up where it's slightly more realistic, a little bit more shading. In fact, most of those I start off very, very simple and it just gets a little bit more complicated. So maybe start off with some beginner ones if you want to. Check out some of the intermediates and if you get really good, check out some of the videos I have which have got the word advanced next to them and that's for the more experienced drawer. Whatever your level, I hope you've enjoyed my videos and I'll see you next time.